all right everyone very good morning very good evening uh, here with the one more quick uh, demonstration on sp file missing scenario so right now i have three scenarios here sp file missing for my file system database for my asm database and other one is for my rack database right so in this particular lab here where i lab one where my dev db database is running which is under file system and if I can connect to that particular database and check for the, you know, SP file or the P file location, that's obviously under DBS location, right? Like, let me go into the database and select name from name comma open underscore mode from VDL or database, which will be in open and read write mode. Right, so DevDB, which is in open read write mode, uh, and the you know my database control files are in file system that is used on app oracle control one control two that indicates it's a file system database means data files are in the os file system not on the asm storage same thing goes for my all the data files here all my data file systems socks undo user temp everything is decided under file system user one same thing goes for my SP file here, right? SP file is under Oracle Home, DBS location, SP file devdb.ora. All right, so that clearly says this is my a file system database. Database is which is under my local file system. Quickly check for the database alert log using a locate command. I'll tail that alert log file. Right, now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate by deleting the SP file, the simulating the scenario, like I lost my SP file. Right now, this is my SP file here. And I'm going to delete that one using RM command. Right now, this SP file is located. And I'm going to use this RM command and then delete that file. Right, my SP file got deleted, no such a file or directory. Now I can connect back to my database and then now else I can kill that database instance. And then once I kill, I can try to start my database. Right, my database instance killed. Just quickly verify PSI in app KPS one. Nothing is running. In the alert log, you can see that instance terminated by the PMON process PID 711. Since that resuscitated S1 seven. 80 process ID got killed. The instance being terminated due to fatal process death. That's a process ID 780. That's a S1 process what we killed. Right now, quickly try to connect to my SQL command line and then try to start my database. It never start because SP file is missing. Right. So in this case here, it gets started because it has a P file under that Oracle home under the DBS location init devdb.ora. That's a P file. The first priority it's gonna look for SP file. SP file is not available. Then it's gonna go for P file. And then it found the P file and then started with that P file. SP file is not there. Then it's gonna start with the looking into P file. And the P file in this case it is found and then it started with the P file. Suppose if the P file also not found then instance will never start. It says they are unable to find a P file and it failed. The first preference will go to SP file. And if SP file is not there, the second preference will go to P file. And if the P file also not there, then your instance will never start. It says that your P file is not found. That instance started, mounted and opened. Right now if I do show parameter SP file, it will be blank. Because whenever it starts with the SP file, then only SP file will be showed under show parameter SP file command line. Otherwise, it will be blank. It means it started with the P file. So now, if I do show parameter P file, again, it's not going to show anything. Show parameter P file will be again pointing to your SP file only. So show parameter P file, nothing. So it never, like, again, show parameter P file will never give an actual value. Or the only way to check is show parameter SP file. If it is started with SP file, it's going to show SP file. Otherwise, if it's a blank, it understood that your database is started with the P file. Fair enough. So my database is started with the P file. We are missing 
the SP file. The simple command to create SP file is create SP file from P file. Automatically, it's going to use that existing P file from the DBS location and you want to create the SP file. You can see that SP file davidb.ora with the current timestamp and got created. See, this is the current date, March 4th, 0000. So the SP file got created. And this is the first way, like create SP file from P file. Directly, it's going to go ahead and then create the SP file using that existing P file under DBS location. Or you know the P file location, you can give that complete P file path to create your SP file. Let me let me show that in a minute. Let's say here, um, I can take the complete path. This is my P file, I can take that complete path and then I can run the same command. One second here, create SP file from P file and I'm gonna use that complete P file path, whichever I seen it in my alert log. And then again, SP file got created now. This is the second option. You know the path of the P file, give that complete P file to create your SP file. And now if I can go to one second. Uh, okay, this is like one more option. You can either give that complete hard-coded path, the full path, or you can give that variable. If you have variable defined, that also works same, same as what the previous command is, one and same. So now let's quickly uh, go to DBS location and then check for that SP file. Right, you can see now the creation time got changed to 0001. Earlier it's a 0000, now it's become 01. So it means whatever the option one, option two, option three, with any of the three option, you can create your SP file from the P file. So now I can quickly shut down my database and then I can start my database and then it automatically starts the database with the newly created SP file. Because as I said, the first preference will always go to my SP file and then second preference will go to P file. Let's run the startup here and observe your database alert log here. You can see here, database instance started and it is used that DBS location SP file devdb.ora. So that's my first preference. And if SP file is not there, then only you're gonna go to the P file second options. If the P file is not there, then instance will never start. Right, now the database instance started with SP file. I can do show parameter SP file and it shows clearly under DBS location, it used that SP file and my database instance got started here. All right, fair enough. So this is quite simple. If you have a P file, you just need to create a SP file out of that P file using a simple command create SP file from P file or create SP file from complete path of that P file or create SP file from the P file with the variable definition dollar oracle DBS and P file that were. All right, so that's a quick demonstration on the how you can create a P file from the existing, so how you can create SP file from the existing P file in case of your a file system database. In our next session, we'll see for how you can create SP file from the P file using your database, which is running under ASM. And on top of that, we'll see the same demonstration, creation of SP file from the P file in case of flag database. So that's our uh, next demo sessions. We are gonna see two more set of uh, SP file restore scenarios in case of ASM Oracle restart server or in case of flag database. Thank you guys. We'll see you in our next session.